Thank you for joining us for this inaugural episode of The Pulse. This show explores the continuous beat that is felt through diverse African and African diaspora communities. We will have live interviews, demonstrations, and entertainment. Join us as we look at the connections between African descendants from around the world. We will holistically and critically look at economics, politics, education, entertainment, and health. Today, we start by looking at alternative and traditional approaches to health and wellness. Our guest is nationally renowned herbalist and certified holistic specialist, Queen Afua. She is a lecturer and New York Times best-selling author of four books, including Sacred Woman, A Guide to Healing the Feminine Body, Mind, and Spirit, Heal Thyself for Health and Longevity, the City of Wellness, Restoring Our Health Through Seven Kitchens of Consciousness, and her most recent book, Overcoming an Angry Vagina. These books address the current health crises facing African American and other women. Many women have been transformed by their association with Queen Afua. Queen Afua, welcome to the show. Thank you, Doctor, so much for having me. It's my pleasure. Yes, yes, I'm glad that you're able to make it here, and we're excited about uh, uh, this inaugural opportunity to have a discussion with you here. So I want to ask you several questions, uh, but first and foremost, I want to know, how did you begin this journey? Well, I began um, I, with a quote I'll give. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, mm. Fannie Lou Hayman. Yes. I was age 17. I had arthritis. I had chronic asthma chronic hay fever, eczema from head to toe, mm -hmm. I had headaches, I had PMS, I was really sick. Right, right. But I was also living the all-American, fast food, toxic <laughs> diet, <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> and that contributed to my demise. Okay. And I was invited um, to come on a actually holistic retreat. It was an African-American holistic retreat. Okay. And I came on that retreat, and I remember coming off the bus without my medication. Mm -hmm. And the asthma kicked in, and the eczema kicked in, and I'm saying, oh, what am I going to do? And I heard an inner voice tell me for the first time, eat grapefruits, lemons, and oranges. And I'm like, what? But I did. And I also met with some wonderful holistic people, one of which is Dr. Johnny Moore. He's a master herbalist. He's now an ancestor. Okay. He became my spiritual grandfather. He told me about the plants and the power in the plants for healing. As Dr. George Washington Carver was, you know, that's a part of African legacy mm -hmm. is using plants t for medicine. And so that night, I, the asthma was still there. I sat in front of a fireplace, and I did not know that the heat from the fire was going to be part of my cleansing. Right. I did not know I was even on a fast because I was on liquids all day long, natural, fresh orange juice and grapefruit juice and lemon water and herb tea. I didn't know I was on a fast. So your fast was accidental. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's no accident. Right. The next day, I, w I had my first detox. I didn't realize it was a detox. So I started to study about natural healing and the process one goes through when they start to cleanse. And so I detoxed the next morning for one hour. Mm -hmm. Mucus came out of my nose, my mouth, my eyes. That mm -hmm. mucus mm -hmm. was really the asthma, mm -hmm. the hay fever, mm -hmm. the allergies, the eczema. And then I, w I said, wait a minute, how did it go without the medication? It went through nature. Right, and, and so that's, the, that's, that's, that's interesting because step. that's the key, yeah. is that we find that when we think about alternative or mm -hmm. really traditional, going back to nature, Right, yes. is that, that there's so many ways for us to, to change our bodies yes. that we don't touch on them. Yes. And so um, I find it interesting because one of the things I was reading about you is that you mix in with this uh, African, uniquely, uniquely African-centered spiritual way of thinking about health. Mm -hmm. So w what is that and how do you do that? How do it all work out? Well, that's years of research and study. And okay. you know, after healing myself and helping my community, I worked on a book um, called Sacred Woman a guide to healing the feminine body, mind, and spirit, which led me to research. And one of the top, uh, um, I would say, historians in, in the field is mm -hmm. Sino Agrasamar Sepata. And he put me on my path to st begin to study of the most ancient healers. And when I started to study about holistic health, and I started to see the roots of holistic health from Reiki, that's mm -hmm. African natural lifestyle, color therapy, astrology, mm. internal hygiene, colon therapy, which I became a colon therapist, vegetarian lifestyle, um, hot, 
um, healing baths, all of that is part of our culture, our tradition. Okay, so none of this stuff you get in med school. <laughs> well, it started with our roots. Right, <laughs> it's right, our roots. Right, exactly. And then now, but actually, um, the, the medical establishment is taking on natural studies now good, and good. beginning to incorporate it because that's the wave of the future and that's where the people are going. They want to be able to heal themselves and take greater responsibility towards their wellness. So they're seeking um, our traditions and our ways. So tell me, there's a lot of different women who come to you and they're looking at all these diff issues concerning spirituality, but how does uh, spirituality fit within the context of your um, what you do? Is it just about the comedic tradition or are women welcome from all different spiritual backgrounds? Well, I'm glad that you didn't say religion mm -hmm. because I'm not practicing religion. I'm practicing a way of life and our ancestors taught based on a way of life and that okay. lifestyle was based on Ma'at and an English translation would be balance. Okay. That's what holistic health is about. That's what why you would go to spiritual houses is to get the balance, to get the harmony. Right. And so that t that term is called ma'at, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. means balance, truth, righteousness, harmony, reciprocity. Right, right. Is and that's that a something we all term, need? Right? It's a comedic term that we all need that balance, and it's based on a scale. Okay. And what do you mean by that? A scale. On one side of the scale, there is the feather, mm -hmm. and the other side is the heart. And it says that our hearts, our ancestors have told us that our hearts must be balanced every day. Mm. And if our hearts are heavy, that's an aneurysm, right. a heart attack, right. a stroke, depression, violence in the home, quick to argue. All of these are dis dysfunctions that we have because our hearts are not balanced. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we don't know how to live a balanced lifestyle. Right. So I go back to the beginning and that is all, that's a connective point for all the spiritual houses, whether you're Yoruba, whether you're Kemetic, well, Kemetic is the foundation, whether you're um, uh, 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 Christian, whatever mm -hmm. the house is that you're in, we all need that balance and harmony. So the women come from all four directions okay. to learn how to awaken the healer within her so that she could be more effective in healing her family. Okay. And okay. As, well, herself as a foundation, her family is an extension. And now when you're talking about healing, I, I, I know a lot of the, the, your works focus on women. Mm -hmm. do, do, are these things also germane to men? Well, I'm so glad you asked me that question. Just like this is your beginning. <laughs> 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 Last night I was finally, I have been doing some gathering for the men because the men have been asking me, Queen, could you say something to us? Could you write to us specifically? Mm -hmm. Although Heal Thyself and City of Wellness was for both men and women, okay. but they want me to say something. So I have been gathering, it's called, and the new book I'm working on right now as we speak, I've never said out loud, is Men Heal thyself. Ah, okay. Well, let's hold that man heal thyself yes. and we will be back just after a moment. Yes. I'm Jessica Mendoza, U.S. Olympic gold and silver medalist. I never take my eyesight for granted. Neither should you. Doesn't matter how old you are, you could be losing your vision to glaucoma without knowing it. Take care of your sight. Schedule regular eye exams for yourself and those you love. Call 1-800-437-2423 or go to ahaf.org for free information and publications from National Glaucoma Research. Every day, thousands of people are diagnosed with macular degeneration, a disabling eye disease that leads to severe vision loss. As a scientist conducting research for the American Health Assistance Foundation, I want you to know that there is hope that a cure and new treatments for macular degeneration will soon be found but only if we can continue our groundbreaking research. Learn about my research. Call 1-800-437-2423 or visit ahaf.org for free publications on eye disease. 